So Halima Adin has disappeared from Instagram after posting some harrowing stories and people are very worried. Hey guys, it's Murad Morali. Hope you guys are doing well today. Back again with another video. If you haven't subscribed, guys, click that button for daily and consistent content. Head over to my Instagram, my Patreon, my merch, and let's just get straight into this quick fire video. So for those of you who don't know, I did cover this one of my recent what is flying over me? Um, in one of those um, recent videos that I posted about how she was really going in on not only UNICEF and Vogue, but also kind of kind of going in on Angela Jolie and how these celebrities like to, you know, post a lot of stuff for their own benefit, their own image, and how it's just for them. And they collect people and they leave them just how they were. They haven't made a difference to their lives. They haven't made, they haven't made a difference to themselves because of the greed. Uh, well now after all of that her Instagram account is not loading and people are very worried online but guys worry not fear not and I feel like people are very worried for her because you know when you come out with information like this and you disappear people like to connect the dots and come up with crazy conclusions but of course I feel like you know they are kind of justified because the world is crazy but she has replied on her Instagram and said I deleted my IG but let your friends know I'll be on here from time to time honestly having a million followers is fun and all until you get fed up with, with it 2021, I'm also setting myself free from the likes comment culture. I did ask my mom if she wants me to change it to Rukia for fun, to which she politely declined. Rukia, for those of you who don't know in Arabic, um, basically kind of just means how, you know, you're trying to get, um, what is that word called again in English? I've completely forgotten that word. When you're trying to get the, when you're trying to get the spirit, like a devil out of the body. I've completely forgotten the word in English now. I'm so, like, this is really irritating me, but something like that. Um, Reference that there are obviously different terms for Rukia. That's just one of many. Uh, it's not the only um, But I feel like you know people are worrying they got concerned about her Which you know makes sense because I just feel like she has come out with a lot of information and already so quickly Her account has disappeared. She's she's deleted. She just said, you know, what? I don't need all of this I don't need a hundred million followers. I don't need to be modeling with all these major celebrities I don't need to give myself to a life that isn't going to give nothing to me in return I don't need to give myself to a life that gives nothing to me in return, nothing but shallow hollowness where I have to kind of sacrifice myself, not even for the greater good, but for just negativity, for stuff that doesn't make me feel better as an individual, as a person. And she just, just wants to leave. And that is what she wants to do. She has reached that point in her life. Some people reach it later on. Some people saying, why is she coming out with this You know, now? Why is she saying this all now? In life, we all go through a journey. Some of us reach certain destinations at different ages, at different times, where we feel like enough is enough and you want to just speak out because you're sick and tired of everything you have gone through or everything that you have seen around you. And you have arrived at that destination and now it is your time. Everybody arrives at destinations at different times. Comparison is a thief of enjoyment. So to wonder why somebody is now speaking out now that everybody's on their own journey in life. You may go to a journey in your life where you think, you know what, now I've had enough, I've arrived here, I've gone through all of this to get to here, and now I'm gonna put a boundary and stop it. Halima Adnan has said, you know what, I'm now gonna put up my boundaries. I've had enough, I've seen too much, I've been through too much, there's not enough action, only just you know selfish behaviors. I have arrived at my destination, maybe there'll be multiple destinations. Life is a journey, guys, it's up and down. She's arrived and she said, you know what? Here are my boundaries. I put up my boundaries. I've had enough. I will not tolerate the disrespect anymore as an individual, as a person. And we all get to that, whether it be in working environments, family environments, relationships environments, so many different environments we all arrive to. We've had enough of the disrespect and we said, you know what, this isn't worth it. It isn't worth my soul. It isn't worth my spirit. It isn't worth my heart. It just is not worth it. And she has decided to leave. She deleted Instagram because she doesn't need social media. She doesn't thrive off social media. She doesn't need all that, you know, likes and comments culture. She doesn't need it at all. What are your thoughts, guys? Subscribe, click that button for daily and consistent content. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And I'll catch you guys soon for another video.